Hey, Kirk Jungian here from LearningGolf.tv. Uh, showing you Bryson DeChambeau again from face on and down the line at the same time. I want to show you the simplicity of this golf swing and it very, very closely mirrors my setup for impact golf swing. So if you're looking to swing like Bryson DeChambeau, uh, there's many things that you can do and look at, but I want to boil it down to the simplest possible combination and simply looking at the on the left at the golf shaft plane represented with the red line up the shaft and noticing that it also goes through the elbow of his right arm so that's a very important point and then if I put this in motion quickly here uh, I want you to see because of his setup there you can see what's going to happen is he goes back he's very closely on that plane at the top of the swing and if we track it coming down you're going to see it comes exactly right down the swing plane as well where it impact it's again exactly on the plane it started out on and you can also notice that his spine angle here did not change at all from setup to impact and that's one of the main ideas and goals of the setup for impact golf swing is to set up in a position where you do not have to compensate uh, as uh, many people copied Mo, uh, who was one of the best ball strikers ever, uh, but Mo set up so far away that he had to move down so you would see his head moving much closer to the ball coming into impact. Looking here, you can see he's maintained spine angle perfectly, and you even see as he continues on how the club goes perfectly back up the plane. Conventional golf, which teaches people, uh, if we go back to the setup, has the arms hanging straight down, and then the club comes out at an angle like this. At setup, the problem is at impact, everybody's club straightens out on the plane with their right arm. So impact's completely different uh, as far as the orientation, which is why 99.9% .9 of golfers have no chance when setting up like the tour players do. Bryson's one though that you should copy as far as the orientation there. And my setup for impact golf swing teaches you uh, the grip setup uh, and simple drills to get you back, uh, get you going on the golf course as soon as possible and helps you improve right away, right out the gate. On the right here you see face on, I drew a red line down his left arm. I uh, made a couple other markings just to show you uh, some reference points so you can track the movement, but it is very simple. And this drive he played a little bit back in his stance, so it's his low stinger type drive. Uh, but I want you to notice his head stays nicely in position. His hips turned uh, pretty much in the space that they set up in. And you're also going to see a great use of the legs and body to generate club head speed. This is also something the people copying Mo don't achieve and most lose distance because uh, they are not using ground forces to generate speed. As you can see Bryson here, you can see the heel. Uh, starting to come up off the ground. You can also see then at, at impact, you can see the same relationship. He's returned uh, through his setup position. It's almost identical as far as the position, uh, both setup and impact. So you see on the left uh, impact, uh, you'll also notice the right foot, the heel pushing up. Uh, this is what gives the swing so much power. Bryson's one of the top 20 on tour and driving distance because he's using his body, nice straight leg at impact, which is also very important for generating speed, but also accuracy, uh, consistency. And this is why I think he's going to be one of the top players in years to come. It's an extremely back friendly golf swing as there is no spinal compression. His hips are not rising through impact as most of the tour players. If you watch my other comparisons, with Bryson and myself, compared with some of the top players, you see the difference in compression versus no compression. So visit learninggolf.tv for more info and please subscribe here on YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much and have a great day.